in the hobby, there's nothing more disappointing than losing a fish. However, purchasing a fish or trading another person for a fish and finding out that fish is not actually what you thought it was, that could be pretty disappointing too. So let's talk about that today. Now the longer you stay in the hobby, the more connections you'll make within the hobby. And those connections may include people in your fish club, uh, other fellow hobbyists, and contacts you have at fish stores like your local fish stores in your area. Over time I have made a lot of connections and because of those connections whenever a certain specific fish that people know I like to keep comes across. I am contacted either by Facebook, Messenger, email, or phone saying, hey, just came across this fish, are you interested? It doesn't matter if you keep nano fish or monster fish or community fish or you're a guy like me who specifically likes Central American cichlids, the Parachromus and the Amphilophus particularly, you will find that as people get to know your likes and your needs in your fish room, that people will reach out to you and say, hey, I got this fish, are you interested in it? So this is going to be kind of a difficult subject for me only because my friendship uh, and my love for Mark De Niro is broad. Uh, I've known Mark De Niro for 12, over 12 years. I have purchased fish from him at his various stores he works at, at Natural Pets Plus, for over a decade, and I give them, give Mark and De Niro in particular, a 100% review because I have been pleased in every purchase I've ever made uh, with Mark De Niro and Natural Pets Plus. In fact, I just did a video on them this past Tuesday. Uh, where I did a review of their store, fantastic store, some of the best fish you're ever going to see, wide variety of fish, and I just did the freshwater section. I didn't even touch the saltwater section. Anyway, I want to make sure I don't make this too long of a video, but as you guys know, I recently went there to pick up a pair of Paracromus Frederick Stallii, aka the Yellow Jackets. Mark De Niro reached out to me. Now Mark doesn't work at this this particular store where I picked him up from. He only works there one day out of the week. He works there every Thursday. The other days out of the week he works at the Natural Pets Plus in New Jersey. Uh, definitely check him out in Lawrenceville uh, if you're in the New Jersey area. Again, Mark, uh, a customer brought these fish in, the pair that I picked up, said they were a pair of chromis fregistallii. Once Mark found out about them on that Thursday, he saw them, took some video of them, sent it to me and said, hey, some, you know, something you might be interested in is down at the store. You guys have seen the video. I'll give you a little snippet of it right here. The pair of fregistallii, call them whatever you want to call them. It's kind of how I look at it. But these guys have been in this tank for a while now. There's the male. There's the female. Look how fired up she is. And there's a whole mess of wrigglers. They're right in the front of the tank. I'm not able to get a real good angle on it. But, yeah, she wants to kick my butt through the glass. The joy of big Central Americans. So... In all honesty, looking at that video, I could see that the male didn't particularly match up with the female. I wasn't sure if, if it was because of stress that he looked a little differently. Obviously, they had fry, and so that kind of changes the pattern and the coloration of the male and the female. So, although in the back of my head I was like, I don't know if that's really a Frederick Stallii, I decided to move forward with the purchase, drive the hour and a half to the store, and purchase the fish. Uh, got there to the store, looked at the fish again. So that is the pair we're picking up. And uh, I can't 
can't wait to get them home. Uh, again, looking at the mail, I was like, I don't know if that's a Frederick Stally eye, but I decided to move forward with the purchase anyway, knowing that perhaps the mail wasn't a Frederick Stally eye like I was first told. But in the back of my head, I knew that having an extra red Tiger Moto, which is what I thought the fish was, wouldn't hurt at all because I could always use an extra red Tiger Moto male. In fact, that's probably my third favorite fish of all time. So I didn't really have a problem picking up this pair. Uh, and plus the price that Mark Denier had given it to me uh, for was, was great. So I went forward with the uh, purchase of this pair. I want to make sure everyone's clear that I'm saying that I knew ahead of time that there may be a problem, but I took responsibility for that and I moved forward with the transaction. Got the fish home, quarantined them, got them settled. This past week got them into their own tank and again under very close observation it is my 100% thought that this is not a Parachromus fritisalii. The male isn't. The female definitely is, but the male isn't. Reached out to Mark, told him the situation. Mark was very apologetic from the very beginning. Now I have to say this to you, Mark De Niro knows more in his fingernail, fingertip, than I will ever. Uh, he just, he's an incredible aquarius, world renowned, speaks across you know, goes to many different club events and speaks. He's done a book with Rachel Leary before on Nanofish. The guy, he does a monthly uh, publication in Tropical Fish Hobby. The guy knows his stuff. So, the fact that he doesn't specifically keep Paracromas may have uh, hurt him as far as knowing specifically that this is a Frederick Stallii or a Red Tiger Moto, but Let's be honest, they are so close in the way they look that I'm not gonna fault Mark for selling me a fish that was something different, especially that since these were trade-ins, someone brought them in saying, these are Paracromus fetustalii. So, in this particular case, I do not hold the store nor Mark Denier responsible for me picking up these fish under the tents that they were Paracromus fetustalii. The female was, the male isn't. Um, so first of all, comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are concerning this revelation. As you guys know, I'm starting to breed all the Paracromus family. Um, I do have some thoughts about at some point selling fry, shipping fry. Uh, I got to get a lot more knowledgeable when it comes to that. but. Because of my situation, because of the amount of tanks I have, because of some of the plans I have down the road that I really haven't talked to you guys about, I was not overly upset that they weren't, weren't both Parachromus Fidgestalli. Now that's just my personal feeling, um, and that's due to my versatility that I have in the fish room with all the tanks that I have. You guys, in that same scenario, may have felt differently. So again, leave your comments below on your thoughts. Now I will tell you that this is not just this doesn't just happen at fish stores. I've been at fish auctions, whether they're big events or club events, and I've come across I've purchased some fish that were labeled one thing, and I've come to find out they were something else. It's not a high percentage that this happens, but it does happen sometimes. I was told that I was getting a Frederick Sally eye female at the Sickle Club of York, and it turned out to be a Lazelle eye. Um, <laughs> Liz and I went to pick up at a local a local hobbyist was selling fire mouths uh, 20 of them for this incredible price and we were like alright for that price we'll pick them up we'll start a small colony uh, when we got there the person had got taken all the fish out put them in a tote for us so we just exchanged the money we picked the tote up took them home but when we got them home we found out that they really weren't fire mouths they were some sort of hybrid between a fire mouth and a convict cichlid. Uh, <laughs> and I had a lot of friends making fun of me saying that I had purchased some fire cons. So stuff like this happens in the hobby 
all the time. Now I'm going to tell you, I feel like the responsibility falls on me or the person actually purchasing the fish to make sure what you're picking up is in fact what you're picking up. And the only way that you can truly know that is to do your due diligence, read, study, get all the information you can about the specific fish so when you come upon them you can look at them and say yes the pattern's right, the color's right, the finish is right, this is the fish I want, here's your money, here's your trade in, whatever, and then move on. What are your thoughts, viewers out there? Do you think the store should be more responsible about the fish that they get traded in? Uh, and even the fish that they get imported to them? Um, do you really expect, do we really expect the owner of a store to know the thousands of fish that are out there to know upon looking at them that this is in fact their fish? I think that's a lot to, to want from a fish store owner. Um, I think if someone comes to your store and says, hey, this is a Paracromus Registellii, uh, I'd like to trade them in for something else, you have to take them at face value. I mean, I'm not expecting the store owner to do two hours of research to verify that these are the right fish or to do some DNA samples. I mean, we, this is about keeping fish. So I truly feel that it is down to the person actually purchasing the fish to make sure that the fish you're getting is truly what you think it is. All right, so long story short, this pair that I picked up from Natural Pets Plus is not in fact a pair of Chromis Fregistallii pair. One, the female is a Fregistallii and the male in my opinion is a Red Tiger Moto. The male is not really showing the orange colors that I normally see in a Red Tiger Moto male, but He's a younger male and maybe that red coloration will come. So at this point I'm definitely saying the female is a Fregistallii and the male at this point I'm going to say he's a red tiger moto but I'm going to keep a very close eye on him because again I don't want to find a female for him and start producing fry that are not 100% red tiger motos. Um, again moving forward guys I have a lot of plans on breeding the entire Paracromus family and being able to sell and ship these fry to people. I get a lot of inquiries about do I have a fry for sale, do I ship, and I'm starting to believe that maybe this is something I want to get into uh, as far as selling the Paracromus and the Amphilophus uh, fish that I keep. Alright, alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Is it your responsibility to make sure what you get is the, the fish that you want? Or is it the store's responsibility? Is it the club that's running the auction responsibility to make sure that all the fish are exactly what they say they are? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for viewing. As I always say, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and stay absolutely fishy. I hope you enjoyed this video. and. I'm probably going to go live this Sunday. Liz will not be here. She is leaving for five days um, and taking care of her mother's dogs. So I'm going to go solo on Sunday. So hopefully you guys will be there. We'll come up with something. We'll have some fun for a little while. All right. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And guys, thank you as always for tuning in to King Queen Cichlids. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.